Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1974's Williams Sandwich Recipes Cookbook, we're going to be making the Phyllis Wit Special. Yes, uh, all the recipes in this cookbook were submitted by people, uh, regular folks, and sh this is the grand prize winner. Phyllis Wit won the grand prize with this recipe, and then she named the sandwich after herself. <laughs> it's interesting. It could be pretty good, actually. Uh, let's get into it. We start off with a cup of cooked chicken, three teaspoons of mayonnaise, three teaspoons of diced pickle, dill pickle, three teaspoons of diced apple, quarter of a teaspoon curry powder, and then we mix that all together. And then we put that on toasted bread. You might think, oh, chicken salad. Way to go. That's a grand prize winner. <laughs> Phyllis Witt is not done yet. Then we top that mixture with American cheese and par-cooked bacon. Now it goes in the broiler. Okay, let's give this Phyllis Witt special a go. Hmm, interesting. The apple and the curry powder and the chicken are working really well together and the bacon, the crunch of the bread. This is actually a good sandwich. This is a pretty solid sandwich. I do wish, I do wish it was cheddar cheese instead of American cheese, but hey, what are you gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and plus it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna add a smidge of cayenne pepper. And since this is from the 70s, I'm gonna add a little avocado. Okay, let's give this plus up Phyllis Wit special sandwich a go. So now you're getting the kick of the cayenne. Oh, and the deliciousness of avocado, which goes really well with bacon, and with chicken, and with curry powder. Mmm. That is a tasty sandwich. The original sandwich, I would say uh, Phyllis Witt did a good job. I'm going to go ahead and give her a... I'm going to give her a 7. If it was with regular cheddar, it would probably be an 8. With the avocado and the cayenne, I think it bumps it up to a 9. That is delicious. I'm definitely going to finish that. I might even make that again sometime. So, uh, whew. All right. See you next time. Oh.